Ryan, congratulations over on stage two, an absolute belter to beat Dirk Van Dijven Bader. You must be over the moon with that. Oh, I'm absolutely chuffed. I went into it thinking, you know, I'm an underdog. Just, I felt good. All, since I got here tonight, I, I tell you, but I, I feel really good. But sometimes that's a bad sign when you're too relaxed. But even when I was playing, like, he put me under all sorts of pressure. And luckily, every time I just, you know, double down and go over the line in the end. What is it about this venue? Because you seem to produce special ones. Last year, you did a demolition job on the ferret. Yeah, yeah, I know. And he ain't done too bad since, has yeah, he? He's done, done, <laughs> he's done a right since I beat him. So, um, I don't know. I just, you know, especially, I know you, everyone always wants to be on this main stage here. But that stage two there, I love playing there. It's, you know, a bit more enclosed, good atmosphere. And I just, just like playing there. So, hopefully, I'm on there again tomorrow. It's been a fabulous couple of weeks for you. Mid-season, you were the wrong side of all the of all the lines and all the tables, but some good performances on the Pro Tour. Getting here has now put you in the correct side of all the, the brackets. Yeah, you know, I mean, look at that. I, I think in June or July, I had COVID and I missed the Euro qualifiers. I missed three or four Pro Tours, and I thought that was me done. I thought, you know, bad to Q school. I missed, that's important for the Euros. But I think I had a quarter-final on the Pro Tour, and that boosted me straight back up there. So, um, you know, it's given me this chance to play here this weekend and I'm still in so if I can have a good run that could boost me up for top 64 come new year. It's that important to, to keep your card and not have to go back to Q school because the pressure is heaped on anyone that loses their card? Oh yeah definitely yeah I mean no one wants to go to Q school it's, it's literally a lottery once you get there I mean I've been there for four years I don't think but when I did go there t once or twice there's so many people there and there's so many dangerous people. I mean, you could be the best player ever and there's still a chance you, you won't get a tour card. So, I mean, this in the world, I want to get in that top 64, so I ain't got to go back. Do you feel you developed as a pro? Because obviously, you know, we know you still work as well. And is it is it tough juggling both? Not really. No, I enjoy my work. I mean, I could, I could have gone full-time if I wanted to. But I, I don't want that pressure of having to earn money. So yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, I keep coming to these weekends, picking up when I can as a bonus. But like I said, I, I just don't want to go back to Q school. I, I don't want, no one wants that. So um, yeah, as long as I keep winning, I'll be all right. Ryan, pleasure as always. Thank yeah. you very much, mate. Thank you. Cheers, Phil.